Hello, welcome to the fourth point in this series on how to create your very own basic interpreter in Python programming language. So in this video, we'll implement let statement. So let statement is used to assign variables and also we'll be using it to change a certain variable to uh, whatever different value it might uh, take uh, during the program execution. So we'll start from the previous part and I just open my source file. So uh, here within the execute, we'll have another option. Uh, so we can say elif and token is equal to let. In this case, we just want to execute the, late, the let statement like this. And passing the line is an argument. Now down below the print statement, uh, I define let statement takes the line so let's get rid of spaces first and i can say line equals to i want to join the line and i want to replace white spaces with nothing and then uh, i want to check so i say if equals sign uh, is not in line. In this case, we give a, uh, an error message here. So print uh, missing uh, equal sign in variable definition. That shouldn't be the case. And also we want to raise value error. Okay. Then we want to extract the name and the value for the given variable. So this is going to be line dot split and splitting by the equal sign. So the first element is the name and the value is line split uh, by the equal sign and the first element. So that should be the case. Now uh, we can say if uh, the value is equal to nothing. In this case, uh, this is the error, so we print missing variable value and raise value error. Okay. Also, it might happen uh, that the value uh, is equal to input. So we do not use input uh, as a statement within the list of statements because we sort of a little bit cheat in here a little bit. So we just uh, pass it separately uh, outside the recursive descent algorithm paradigm, let's say. So in this case, I uh, want to do the following thing. So I want to try and you can say variables name is equal to, want to turn it into the integer and ask user for an input. I'm going to make it one line here. And accept. Uh, so this is an error again, so we can print uh, input must be an integer, right? And raise value error here as well. Great. And otherwise, here um, we can say uh, that the value is equal to character for character in value. So we are preparing it to pass, uh, to calculate uh, the value. So this might be an expression. So let's say let a equals and then the complicated expression and the result of that expression is going to be stored as the value. So hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so we scan through this value in particular and then we say variables name is equal to calculate our value yeah, and that's basically it so now let's uh, test this so first I want to get rid of this artificially 
uh, created values. Okay, and here down below, so we can print stuff. Yeah, now this expression should not be valid anymore because we don't have the a, b, and num uh, variables. I uh, probably don't use num here, but let's be realist a and b. Yes, so don't actually use the num, but a and b are used. So let's try to execute it, and this should give us an error now. So just say Python 3 basic pi. Okay, execution failed. Variable A is not defined, which is exactly the case. It's pretty expected. So let's define another line here. So line is equal to let A equals to, well, let's say 10 for now. Uh, we'll try different scenarios and here we want to execute Let's say line number zero and the line Okay, uh, yeah, this should work hopefully So let's try okay still is not defined. Okay, we got a typo here. So variables like this Okay, yeah, now the variable b is not defined, so let's also define that as well. Um, so just uh, copy and paste, copy and paste. So let's say variable b is equal to 6. Yeah, this is only because I just uh, commented out the try except to catch the bug. So yeah, now we have uh, the output and whatever variables has been assigned are now uh, being properly referenced. Well, now let's try a bit more sophisticated ways of assigning variables. So let's say here I can say like I don't know, expression five plus five. And here we just want to input. Uh, and here we go. So input six, okay. And also, uh, since we have the result, this means that the variable A has been initialized properly as well. Now, that being said, this is it from my side. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.